Hi, Taylor here with Lawson Screen and Digital Products, and today we're going to be talking about how to sublimate face masks on the Epson 570 die sub printer. Simply hit the print button on your computer, and the Epson 570 die sub printer will print out the image on a sublimatable paper. Once the image is printed, the machine automatically cuts the paper off. So all you need to do is grab it and move to your heat press. Once you've printed the image, go ahead and lay your face mask over it. You do want a bit of a bleed, so the image is gonna be beyond the mask itself. Then take some sublimation tape, put it down. This just helps hold everything in place because once I do that, I'm going to flip my image over and just make sure that my mask is in place and flat. The key to everything is just making sure it's flat. I'm gonna take some parchment paper. This is just gonna help protect my heating element um, just in case anything comes through. And I go ahead and press it down with a medium pressure at 400 degrees for about one minute. So I'm using the Geonight DK20 heat press auto pop. Has a great feature, it has a countdown timer here, so it's gonna automatically lift up when it's done. This is great in case I have to go answer the phone or a customer walks in, I'm not accidentally gonna burn my mask. So here it goes, lifts up, remove the paper, then I'm going to go ahead and flip it over. It's gonna be hot, so just be careful. And I'm going to go ahead and take the mask out. And there I go. I have a beautifully sublimated mask. I'm just going to throw away the paper. And I can start selling those. Thanks for watching our video on how to sublimate face masks on the Epson 570 from Lawson. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great tech tips.